Don't let this painting fool you. I'm neither a Trump hater nor a Trump supporter either. I'm basically a Trump realist, which is why I've painted him as the bombastic buffoon front and center in this presidential seal. After all, there's no denying what a narcissist he can be. But at least he's not the duplicitous authoritarian snake in the grass so many of these Democrats have proven to be. And though I consider myself a liberal, especially when it comes to social issues such as legalizing marijuana and prostitution, which by the way I think is the truest sign of being a liberal if there ever was one, and other issues like abortion and gay marriage, I've become thoroughly distrusting and even disgusted by the Democrat Party of nowadays. Which is why I'll be painting all these snakes as either a Democrat politician or a media apologist for the DNC, who I believe are really at the heart of all the needless division and dysfunction going on in the United States since Trump came into office. And it's amazing how difficult it is for more people to admit it. But apparently, Trump derangement syndrome is more than just a catchy conservative meme. So many people have really lost all sense of perspective from simply hearing Trump's name, let alone looking at him. And just like the Greek mythology of Medusa being such a hideous figure that the mere sight of Medusa would turn people to stone, I think that's precisely the effect Trump seems to have on many people's way of thinking. All they know is orange man bad, anything but Trump. And this is the real reason why our nation is so divided. It needs to be pointed out. We're not divided simply because of what Trump is doing, but how people are reacting to him. And yet Trump doesn't do himself and much less the nation any favors in the way he responds to it all either. Because it's equally funny and frustrating to watch how Trump deals with the media in all his press briefings. There are so many missed opportunities to reach out and be a uniting force to help people see past their differences and how we can all work together. And I know a lot of people are going to say, but that's why we want Trump, because he's willing to fight back. But at this point in time, I think Trump would be better off rising above it all, which would further expose the media for being the true instigators of all the divide and social unrest going on right now. But what do I know? Trump's the one that became president, not me. And so much of this unrest being pushed by Black Lives Matter and the satellite parasites that are Antifa, it's totally avoidable. It can so easily be shown how factually incorrect their claims are and how unhinged their demands are too by demanding to defund the police and even abolish prisons. But every problem has a solution and I'm confident our country is going to come out stronger after all this needless chaos is over. After all, there are many black Americans that also see through the false Marxist narratives of Black Lives Matter and they're having none of it. They can also see what a sham the Democrat Party has become by having a presidential nominee like Joe Biden, who can barely string three or four sentences together without exposing his alarmingly rapid onset of senility. I would say I feel sorry for him, but with stories like these about how Biden falsely accused a man who crashed into his wife and children back in 1972 of drunk driving, even though it was tragically Biden's wife's fault the accident happened when she failed to stop at the stop sign, it's hard to find the same sympathy for Biden that he so disingenuously tried curing from the public by almost destroying that man's reputation. Which of course Biden waited until after the man died to suggest the misleading story that the driver had drunk his lunch, causing his wife and daughter to die in the accident. And then there's Kamala Harris, the DNC's pick for vice president, which I'm willing to bet Biden didn't pick her out himself. It's bad enough Biden was shamed into picking a female vice president but she would also have to be a woman of color. Not even so much because of the reversed racist double standard of nowadays fueled by so much cowardice, but because of all the gaffes Biden has made on the campaign trail, such as suggesting if black Americans don't vote for him, it's because they ain't black. And of all the people they could have picked for Biden, Kamala Harris is most known for her prosecutorial record of incarcerating a few hundred black Americans for crimes like marijuana possession that shouldn't even be illegal in the first place. It's as if the Democrats want to lose. And then there's all the social unrest going on for months now in cities specifically run by Democrat mayors in states run by Democrat governors like Portland, Oregon and Seattle, Washington. And yet people still insist on voting against Trump just because orange man bad. But I guess that's the blinding Medusa effect Trump is having on so many Americans nowadays. 
Anyway, I don't want to make this video too long since there will be others in this series, and not to mention I have yet to complete this painting. I can only hope all the rioting, looting, and emotional extortion that is being shamelessly labeled as mostly peaceful protests in this presidential election year will have somewhat died down sooner before later. But until my next video, thanks for watching.